What's up everyone, John back with another video and today we are following up our other video on um, our fog cap here. So if you watch the other older video, you notice that the hat was a little bit too big for my head. <laughs> so let's put on the cap um, just to get you a idea of how big it is on my head. So even though with the curved brim, okay, I like to kind of, you know, mess with it a little bit, but you can see the sides here are popping out and there's a gap in between here. So this size is a seven and a quarter. So same thing with this other uh, Washington DC hat is a little bit bigger for my head. Um, it's a seven and a quarter size as well. So if I had more hair, it would fit okay. It's still a little bit loose on the sides here. I like my fitteds to be a little bit tight on my head um, because, uh, you know, the wind, that kind of thing. And the way it forms the, the brim, uh, I love how it kind of curves to the shape of your head. So I'm going to show you how I'm able to make these bigger hats fit on your head. All right, so I ordered these. Um, it's called like a, a hat reducer um, or a hat tightener on Amazon and uh, I'm going to take it out right now so this cost me a total of $7.99 was the price on Amazon and plus shipping which was six dollars uh, so it came out to be fourteen dollars to ship to South Korea where I am at currently and um, it's just these 3M spacers and these spacers here will definitely give your hat uh, a tighter feel to uh, reduce the gap in between. So it's very affordable, very cheap. Uh, anyone can do it. You don't have to do the, the shrinking, all that stuff to your hat if you don't want to, uh, if it's too much work. So they gave me a um, white one and a black set. So there are a total of 20 of these. So this is good for several hats. So if you have a lot of hats that don't fit your head or maybe you just got a haircut um, and it's too loose, um, this might do it. And also those uh, golfing hats or those, uh, those straw hats are usually kind of big. Um, these are perfect for those. So, so let's try this out. So for this red one, I have a, I think, it doesn't really matter because these um, these cushions here go inside the the sweatband, so you can't really see it. So it doesn't really matter what color you use. So I'm gonna use um, the white ones for this DC hat, and uh, I'm going to put my strategy is to put one on the the front and the back to kind of pull out the shape a little bit first, and then we'll adjust accordingly. So this is pretty much like a a 3M tape that you just pull off and there's a padded side here and then a sticky side. I'm going to put the sticky side along the headband. So there, I have it all um, put well done on the hat, on the front. So it's nice and padded. You cannot see it. It's kind of hidden. So I'm just going to put it on since I put one on first and see how it fits. So it's still a little bit loose. Let's put on another one. For the second one, we have, you know, this 3M tape here. It's, you know, very simple solution to, you know, what you really need for your hat. You just peel off the bank backing here. And for the back part of the hat, I'm going to tape it against the, the back here. So we're gonna flip it inside out. We're gonna put this backing right along the side so that there's nothing. I'm gonna press it down, make sure um, nothing is really sticking on, right? You know, make sure it's stuck on real good. Flip it out back over so you can't see it and flip it one more and then you'll have the backing nice and clean. All right, so now we have both the front and the back and uh, let's put it on, see if it, it, it's a little bit tighter. Yes, it's a little bit tighter, 
but I feel it's still a little bit big on the sides here because uh, I want it really tight on the sides. So we're going to uh, put two more on the sides. All right, so now we have all so now we have all four sides covered in the in the sweatband of the fitted. Let's put it on. Let's see if it fits. Oh, yes, you can feel a difference. It's a lot tighter. It's a lot cleaner. Um, there's still a little bit gap here, but it's not that bad as before. So I definitely recommend uh, these um, these bands here. I think these will. Uh, help a lot if you have a smaller head like mine um, also you know if you can't get the size that you want for your for your hat uh, sometimes we have to order or maybe they give us the wrong order for the hat so these are definitely um, a good way to go so the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna put um, I'm gonna put these black ones on this uh, fear of God hat All right, so we have the hats in front of us and uh, I'm excited to try this on. Let's see if it fits. Oh yes, it's a lot tighter. It feels a lot better on my head. You guys can kind of see um, the shape of it. Look, it feels a lot better on my head. It feels more secure, you know what I mean? So uh, these definitely help. They're not expensive. They're very inexpensive. So I highly recommend you guys to try this out. Uh, if you guys have a looser fitting hat and um, you want a tighter fit around your head, um, let me know down in the comments below whether this video has helped you out or not. It definitely helped me realize that there are alternatives and you don't have to get stuck with an uh, oversized hat that you can actually uh, adjust it and uh, um, kind of customize it the way to fit your head. Give this a video a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the merch. Laced up, I got our uh, you know Jordan 1s here, um, custom shirts. Uh, I'll link the store down in the links below. Please support the channel. We have more designs coming up for you guys uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, please let me know down in the comments below uh, what kind of designs you guys want to see. So that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.